Welcome to the 2022 General Election Candidate videos, made possible by a partnership between Collin County Votes, which is an initiative of the Collin County Business Alliance, and the Allen, Frisco, McKinney, and Plano Chambers of Commerce. I'm Leanne Libby, General Manager of Community Impact Newspaper in Plano, and I'm excited to introduce our viewers to Jamie Jolly, running for House District 70. Welcome, Jamie. Hi, good to see everyone. <laughs> Good to see you. Okay, well, we're going to jump right in. So the first question, in your own words, what is the role of a state legislator? Great question. Um, a lot of people in this process have asked me, uh, what bills do you want to take to Austin? What's on your list? And it's really not about what's on my list. It's about what the constituents in House District 70 need from their, their state government. And so Really, my role is to um, work with the local district, um, find out the issues, not just in House District 70, but obviously throughout the state, and then go down to Austin and really work as an advocate and a voice uh, for this district and just making sure that we find good common sense solutions that will help Texas uh, continue to be the great state that it is. And so, um, as a legislator, I feel like it's really about um, building relationships, understanding the issues, doing your homework and making sure you have all the facts and then helping to represent um, the people of your, your district in the state house. So if elected, what would your top two or three priorities be? So this is pretty easy for me. Um, I've been out knocking on doors a lot in the last few weeks. And the number one thing I hear from voters is the concern with property taxes. As we know, the state of Texas has built our school funding system on uh, the property tax model. And so as values have gone up and property tax uh, collections have gone up, it's really put a burden on certain families and households. And so, I want to uh, work with the legislature to understand how we might best um, fix the problem of Robin Hood. Robin Hood had a great, um, there was a great reason that it was created and um, it's to create more equity amongst um, the schools across the state of Texas, which I think we can all agree is a good thing. But in recent years, we've seen how um, the model doesn't work anymore with the rising property values. And so I think um, addressing that and making sure that we're properly funding education is, is uh, first and foremost for me. Um, another thing I would like to see is um, addressing our border security. We have uh, issues of uh, human trafficking, drug trafficking. We're seeing large increases in urban areas um, with those, those issues. And it's just a matter of time before we see it in every community. So I do think we need to do something about uh, border security as well. Thank you. So Collin County is one of the fastest growing in the country. What are your thoughts on the growth to date and what would your priorities be going forward? So let's be honest, I'm actually a native Texan, uh, born in Dallas, been in Plano for about 20 years. And um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a rare um, person when it comes to that. Most people around me are not native Texans. A lot of people want to get here. They see the Texas miracle. They see the opportunities, all the jobs. And, um, and so they're moving here. And so I think as the legislature, our role is to make sure that we have the infrastructure in place to support growth. And by infrastructure, it's more than just roads, water, those kinds of things. It's also making sure our education system can support that growth. It's also um, making sure that as we grow, that policies are in place to make sure that um, there's economic development incentives to, to bring jobs here, and that's why people are coming here, um, but also to make sure that our, our households and our families are supported. And so I think that infrastructure is um, key, and I think that's where the legislature's role is. I think in making sure that we continue the Texas miracle, we have to make sure that we're investing in the right places and the right programs uh, to support long-term success as a state. Well, so on the topic of infrastructure, what do you see as the biggest transportation issue facing the county and what would you do to address it? 
Wow, within the county. So um, if you've been in Collin County for any amount of time, um, you've seen the growth. I've been here 20 years. I have friends that have been here for 50 years and they all mention just the amount of traffic. And so um, this district, the way that District 70 is defined, it goes up the 75 corridor. It also goes along the George Bush corridor and then kind of um, a little bit touches 121 in the Dallas North Tollway. And so um, we have a lot of tollways around this district. And um, although they're great options, um, they're already congested. We have congestion within um, several of our major roadways. And so I think just continuing to study traffic patterns, um, finding ways to incentivize mass transit where it makes sense. Um, also making sure that um, really we, we have the job centers and the housing matched up so that maybe people aren't making the long commutes as they have in the past and that there's more um, encouragement for um, kind of that work, live in one environment and keeping some, some folks off the road. I know that's been a bonus for a lot of people during the pandemic. They're like, gosh, I love the fact that I haven't had to commute. I've been able to work from home, and I know some businesses are really encouraging that as they go forward. Uh, but I think we need to take that to heart and say, how can we best encourage Texans to um, maybe live closer to where they work and what makes sense? And, and where can the legislature be involved in that? As far as transportation, obviously, the major, major thoroughfares, we need to continue to monitor um, 380 just north of us is a, a major hub and, and thoroughfare and continues to grow. And I think um, county commissioners and COG, the council governments have really been working hard to make sure we stay um, on track for progress with those roadways. So speaking of the business community, what would you do to help meet the needs of the business community to ensure continued economic growth? And what would you see as kind of their top needs right now? Great question. So as the former CEO of the Plano Chamber of Commerce and with an extensive background of working with business and industry, I'm very familiar with the issues. And um, obviously the pandemic has put a different spin on the issues. I think a lot of businesses had to figure out um, how to operate in a, an environment that's touch free, that's maybe a delivery service versus in-person delivery. and. Um, and so I think just continuing to work with businesses, understand how they're going to function in this new environment and having the tools in place to support them. I also think um, as a legislature, we need to focus on the issues that matter. Um, businesses need to make sure that we have a reliable um, energy grid. We need to make sure that we can have power, whether it's 110 degrees or 20 degrees and, and icing. And so um, things like that, I think, are where businesses are going to be really focused as we go forward in this legislative session this next year. Um, also, I believe that we have to look at some of the challenges in the workforce and labor market. Um, we all know that there are major concerns in being able to, uh, to get the employees that we need to fill the positions that currently exist. But as more businesses come here, how do we make sure that we have the best environment um, the most educated population. So that again goes back to public schools and making sure that we have people that are ready to enter the workforce. So the business community and many of the organizations that support it have prioritized promoting equity and diversity through their hiring practices, programs, and their community investments. Because Collin County is such a diverse area in every sense of the word, can you talk about what equity and diversity mean to you? So I think um, when you talk about equity and diversity, you really want to talk about inclusivity and making sure that the environment we're cre creating in our communities, in the work environment, in our schools is where anyone can feel comfortable and thrive. And so um, that looks different for different folks. But I think um, for me, what it means is that no matter your background, no matter the color of your skin or or where you come from, you are coming into um, whatever environment, whether it be school education, um, your work environment, 
this state, that you, you feel welcomed and you feel like you're part of this community. And so I think that is key in looking at the, the diversity and inclusion and equity equation. Um, I also think we have to make sure that business communities feel that Texas is business friendly when it comes to those tough issues. And um, we can still stay true to our values and have our individual beliefs, but we also need to make sure that um, when it comes to being in the workplace, that everyone again feels that they have a, a place to fit in. And um, Texas has been really good at this. District 70 has been great at it. We have so many different ethnicities and religions that are represented in our community. And I think that just shows um, what that looks like when you have a, a diverse work environment, job environment, a strong school district, and just a great place to live. So last question, if you were talking to someone from outside of Collin County who is thinking about maybe moving here or moving their business here, what would your 30 second elevator pitch be? Great question. So, um, and I've had to do this before because of the Chamber of Commerce, but um, when you look at North Texas as a place to live, work, and play, it is an amazing place that provides opportunities for every type of job you can imagine, every type of opportunity. We have amazing housing uh, diversity in our housing, whether it be you want to be in a high rise in the suburbs or you want to be in downtown, or maybe you just want um, your single family home in a, an established neighborhood. We have all those great opportunities and options. Um, I also think it's a very welcoming environment. Um, I've made Plano my home for 20 years, and I've gotten to know just not the immediate community, but the entire Collin County region and the people across this region are really um, focused on making sure that uh, Collin County stays number one when it comes to education, to business, um, to innovation. We've got some amazing companies and innovation that are happening right here in our backyard and just the quality of life. I mean, when you look at um, the different amenities that are offered without, within this community um, throughout Collin County, there are some amazing amenities um, that we're privileged to have right here in our backyard. Well, great. Jamie, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing with our voters, uh, letting them hear directly from you on important issues. Great. Thank you. I appreciate the time and, and the opportunity.